Number 49, a multipurpose transformer has a secondary coil, secondary coil with several points at which a voltage can be extracted, giving outputs of 5.6, 12, 480 volts. Letter A, the input voltage is 240 uh, to a primary coil of 280 turns. What are the numbers of turns in the parts of the secondary used to produce such output voltages? All right, so we need the transformula, uh, tra transformula. Tra <laughs> we need... <laughs> That's a combination between transformer and formula. The transformula. So we need this transformula over here that is uh, describing the uh, voltage, the basically output voltage divided by the input voltage, right? Secondary and primary. Secondary is always output. Primary is always input. Uh, divide, uh, will then equal the uh, number of turns in the secondary divided by the number of turns in the primary. So now, essentially, this works out to be like three separate problems. You're just going to think about them all separately. All right, the input for each of them is going to be the same. The, it's all 240. So I'm going to do one, and then we're just going to quickly uh, calculate the others. Um, and uh, so they, uh, we'll start with the 5.6 output voltage, okay? And then that's going to be equal to the number of turns in the uh, secondary coil. So here we have... Uh, the, and that's what we're, uh, yeah, that's what we're being asked for. Sorry, it says what are the number of turns in the secondary? Okay, so we're going to leave that alone. And then the primary, they told us that there's going to be 280 turns. So number of turns here in the secondary, we're just going to do a little cross multiplication, right? So it's 5.6 times 280 divided by then 240. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be uh, five, no, 6.53. So 6.53. 6.53, and that's the number of turns, okay? So about six, six and a half-ish, all right? Um, so now, uh, what do we got? Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to, let's say, okay. So now in same calculation, just we're going to plug in a little 12 there now, okay? Same calculation, just plug in a 12, and then that's going to be 12 times 280 divided by then 240. So that's about 14 now, okay? So that's gonna be, work out to, so the 12 is gonna be 14. And then in blue, we'll do the four, okay? This will be 480 now. So 480 times then 280 divided by 240. And we're gonna need 560, all right? So that's about that. Okay, so 5.6, all right, cool. So that takes care of that. All right, so those are those answers. So now let's see. Let it be, if the maximum input current is five amps, what are the maximum output currents? Okay. So um, what I'm gonna do is use a formula, I think I developed a number, maybe it was 46. But anyway, it's just a series of substitutions between these two formulas now over on the right-hand side. So this is the voltage secondary divided by voltage in the primary, that's gonna be equal to the current in the primary divided by the current in the secondary. So um, it says the maximum input current is 5 amps. So we know this input current, right? So that's going to be 5. We're basically asked for the maximum output, right? So that's going to be the secondaries. And so now the secondary voltage divided by the primary. Remember, the primary is always going to be the 240 in this problem. 240, okay. And uh, the now we're going to, again, do the same thing. This is going to be 5.6 volts, okay, on the top. Now what I gotta do is solve this for the secondary current. So basically take 240, multiply it by five, and then divide it by 5.6. So that's 214, 214 amps, all right, roughly. And then in red, we'll cancel that, and we'll put now 12. So it's basically going to be 240 times five divided then by 12. So that's 100 now amps. And then last but not least, we would plug in then the 480, okay? So it's 240 times 5 divided by 480, and that's going to be about 2.5 amps. And that's it. All right. So, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. I look forward to helping you with more problems. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Be well.